This is the Star News Brief from Mark Gitau. Opposition Chief Roy Odinga has backed support from at least 19 nations even as he embarks on an intensive cross-Africa campaign for the top continental job. One is required to garner votes from at least 34 countries to win the Africa Union Commission chairmanship. This means the Azimio leader is 15 countries shy of crossing the magical requirement for the first round win. Ruto will next week on Tuesday launch Odinga's candidacy in Nairobi City, setting stage for a cross-continental campaign. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Teachers' unions are yet to call off the nationwide strike despite the government's agreement to implement the CBA. On August 21st, the Teachers' Service Commission called a meeting with union officials to deliberate a way forward after teacher union CC the strike notice. The strike was to begin on Monday, August 26th, the scheduled date for the reopening of schools. Meanwhile, the University of Nairobi Student Council has issued a notice for a protest on September 2nd due to the new university funding model. Elderly women struggling with joint and muscle illness were the biggest beneficiaries of a policy to end walk-in admissions at the Kenyatta National Hospital. They could hardly get a chance at their orthopedic wards because most beds were taken up by young men injured in motorbike accidents. Mohamed Badi, director of the Moriband Nairobi Metropolitan Services, spearheaded the campaign to end walk-in admissions after building 24 new level 2 and 3 health facilities. Parents have continued to express dissatisfaction with the new funding model for tuition loans and scholarships by the Higher Education Loans Board. The model categorizes university and college students into different funding bands based on factors like economic background and social demographic conditions. The goal is to allocate financial aid more effectively based on students' level of need. Police have offered a cash prize for the arrest of Kware murder suspect Collins Jumaisi who escaped from custody at the Gigiri police station on Tuesday. Jumaisi and 12 Eritreans escaped from Gigiri police cells early on Tuesday. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations has asked for public help to recapture the suspect. A significant cash reward will be provided to anyone with credible information leading to the suspect's arrest, a notice by the DCI said. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.